So then, how do you create a public team in Teams? Why should I use a public team in Teams? And what's the difference between a private team and a public team anyway? You're not going to want to miss this Microsoft Teams tutorial on creating public teams. And how many times have I used the word Teams? Okay, so how do you create a public team in Teams? Well, if you used to create in private teams, then you can follow pretty much the same procedure. What you can do is you can click on the button at the bottom that says join or create a team. So give that one a click. Uh, now what we can do is we can click on the create a team button just here. And then we're going to click from scratch. So click on from scratch. So here I have three options, a private team, which you might have done before and which the majority of your teams will be uh, an org wide team, which is an, a team which everybody can automatically be assigned to. But what we're interested in is this one here, which is the public team. Notice it says, anyone in your organization can join. Now you can see there that we have the major difference. With a private team, you have to invite people, individuals to that team. With a public team, anybody can join. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're forced to join, which is what the org wide one does. So let's click on public team. First thing we're going to do is give your team a name. Now, what would be a good name for our public team? And our team's going to be about Office 365 integration. So at Computer Tutoring, we're wanting to get people on board to try and use all of the wonderful tools in Office. So the team name is going to be Office 365 uh, Innovation. And let's type in a little bit of description of the team here. So uh, the description is implementing, implementing new features, off Office, oops, if I get my features right, uh, of Office 365 uh, within the organization. Uh, there we go, and I click on Create here at the bottom. Now, of course, with a public team, you can add members to the team as much as the same way as you would with the um, private team. So where it says start typing a name or a group, let us just start typing. I'm going to type Betty and there's Betty Boop. So I'll add Betty to the team and click on add. And that's all I'm going to do for the time being. I'm then going to click on close. And I can see that my Office 365 or 0365 innovation team has been added. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at somebody who's part of the organization, part of the computer tutoring organization, but not a member of the 0365 innovation team. And that's Joshua. Now he's on a web link just here. So if I just drag Joshua in across, there we go. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my Joshua hat on and I'm going to click on as a participant or as a member, I want to join a team. So I'm going to click on join a team here. Now what I can do is I can search for the team to join it. So we'll look at different ways I can join a public team in Microsoft Teams. So up in the top right hand corner there, if you know the name of the team, I can start typing 0365. If I press enter and there we have the Office 365 innovation team. So I can click on join team that way and join that team. Alternatively, what I can do is type in a code as well. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to swap back to um, my Simon hat and I'm going to go to the ellipsis on the right hand side here and go up to and choose manage team. I'm going to go to settings just at the top and I'm going to choose team code. I'm going to click on generate here. And I can use this code here, F, J, B, well, whatever this code is here. So I'm just going to copy that code. And I can send that on an email or whatever. And if I want to join that team, let us just swap hats back to Joshua. And I'm going to want to join a team. So if I just close off that search, I can click in the box, join a team with uh, a code. And then I can paste in this team here and I can click on join team. And now Joshua is a member of this Office 365 uh, innovation team. 
I just wanted to talk about a situation that's very common, and that is supposing you've created a public team and you want to change it to a private team. Or maybe you've created a private team and you want to make sure everything's working well and then convert it into a public team. How do you do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the three dots to the right hand side. Uh, you could call it the ellipsis. Just click on that. We're going to go up and choose edit team. And then we're going to choose the privacy section just here. And notice I've clicked on this little drop down menu to the right and I can choose public or private to change my team from a public team uh, to a private team and vice versa. I would just like to add that if you go to create a team, the button at the bottom that says join or create a team, and you're not able to create a team, public, private or otherwise, then you will need to speak to your organization's administration team. So that would be the Office 365 admin team so that you can have permissions to be added to a group that will enable you to add and create teams. So there you go. In conclusion, if you want to know what the difference is between a public team and a private team in Microsoft Teams, then a public team is available for anybody to join should they want to. A private team, of course, has to, you can only be joined by invitation only. So if you've got anything out of this Teams training tutorial video, please give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Click on that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. If you want to reach out to us, then we're on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Then please give us a shout out there. It'd be great to hear from you. It'll be great to hear how you use Microsoft Teams. Um, any suggestions or tips? Maybe there's a better way of doing it than the way that I've presented here. So please stick it in the comments below. Great to hear from you. I hope everyone's keeping well. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. How many times do you think I said Teams? Yeah, I think you're right.